Hello everyone! This is the second video about creating a simple battleship game. In this tutorial, I will show you how our yellow submarine is operated and how a torpedo is launched. All of the scripts are available by the link in the description. Ok, so here is our submarine that can move to the left and to the right. Also, it can launch a torpedo. Here it is. Delete it. OK. Submarine uses this submarine sprite. OK. Let's take a look at submarine components. The most important thing is in sprite render component. Order layer is 99. So submarine is rendered behind the first wave that has order layer equals to 100. OK. Submarine has a box collider 2D, which is a trigger to detect collisions with enemies. But in effect there will not be any collisions with enemies this time. Anyway, we have it. Next rigid body to the component goes, with gravity scale set to 0 and collision detection set to continuous. Zero rotation is freezed. Then submarine control script goes. Here we can modify its move speed. Also, here is a torpedo prefab slot. Let's take a look at torpedo prefab. Here it is. Order and layer option in sprite renderer component is set to 98. So torpedo is rendered behind the submarine. Here is a torpedo sprite. OK. The torpedo has a circle collider 2D, which is a trigger at the top tip of it to detect collisions with enemy ships. Also, it has a rigid body 2D component with gravity scale set to 0, collision detection set to continuous and freezed Z rotation. The torpedo control script helps torpedo to move and behave as we want. Here is this script. It's quite simple one, with move speed variable and rigid body to decomponent variables. In update method, we check if torpedo reaches the top side of the scene. It's right about here. So if torpedo manages to get here without any collision with ship, then it must be destroyed to clean the scene. So here we go. In fixed update method, torpedo is moved upwards. Let's check it out. Hit play and see. Works fine. Get back to our submarine and check submarine control script out. Here we have direction x float variable to move left and right. Move speed variable, rigid body to the component, torpedo prefab reference and a couple of variables to let submarine shoot a torpedo only once per 2 seconds. In start method, we reset next fire variable and get rigid body to the component. In update method, we read left and right arrow key pressed and if fire button is pressed, then we launch a torpedo if fire rate allows us to do so. So if time has come to launch next torpedo, then torpedo game object is instantiated and next fire variable is increased by fire rate value to let us fire only after 2 seconds passed. Back to update method. Here we constrain submarine's movement, so it can go off the scene. We clamp submarine's position between negative 7 and positive 7 in x-axis. Let me show you. Hit play and let's move to the right and to the left. So submarine stops when it reaches right or left side of the scene. X value can be lower than negative 7. And greater than positive 7. OK. Back to script. In fixed update method we pass a velocity to submarine according to direction and move speed. OK.
So let's delete it. Here what we've got now. We can launch torpedoes and move our submarine. In the next video I will show you how the ships are spawned and what helps them to move and sink. Hope this tutorial will be useful for you. Thank you for watching, see you next time.